Excuse me, do you happen to have a cigarette? I'm all out and the only ones they sell here in the casino are those foreign kind. And I don't know about you, but I find foreign cigarettes much too strong for my taste. I'm sorry, I do seem to be rambling on. I, I haven't even asked you your name. Bondage. James Bondage. I admire your hands, Mr. Bondage. I admire your taste, Miss... Plenty. Gooden plenty. Is this your first time in Ringfinger's Casino? This is my first time in any casino. And I don't know about you, but I find gambling hard work. It makes me so thirsty. Well, I'd love to buy you a drink, Miss. Plenty. But unfortunately, I have a business meeting this evening. Perhaps later. Tonight? Exactly. Before you go, would you... Could you do something for me again with your hands? My car. Until later. You're three and a half minutes late. Sorry, but the traffic was incredible. No time for that. Here's a new item that just came out of the lab. I think you'll find it most useful. Don't put that on. Why? That ring possesses an extraordinary power. Here, read the instructions. Miss Henny Penny, will you step in here, please? This is the part you'll find useful. I quite agree. Do you recognize these bondage? Of course. The only device our lab has come up with that is completely inescapable. The eternal restraining cubes. Are you going to give me a crack at it? Indirectly. You're going to do it with Miss Henny Penny. It's about time. The ability to move from one place to the other. I can see where this could come in quite handy. Thank you, Miss Annie Penny. Have you ever heard of a man named Ringfinger? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I was just in this casino. Well, we have information that his casino is a front for something. So you'll have to go back there and see if you can find anything interesting. I already have. James, the instructions. And be careful with that ring. You can count on me. Sorry I'm late, but my engine overheated. 
Well, that's all right. But I'm afraid the bar is closed. You won't be able to buy me that drink you promised. I never go back on a promise. James, what about you? Extraordinary. Yes. 53 was a good year. Light, delicate, with just a hint of the, uh, of the... Unexpected. I don't think you'll be needing this any longer, Mr. Bondage. <laughs> but I will. I have the world's largest collection of rings. Diamond rings, emerald rings, little orphan any Dakota rings. But this, this is my prized possession. Not only does it make me stylish and fashionable, it also makes me the most powerful man on earth. Why, with this ring in my hands, there is nothing I can't do. Why, I could make copies and encrypt an entire army. Or perhaps sailors would be fun. <laughs> you see, the possibilities are endless. Yes, endless. And it is mine. All mine. <laughs> Oh, James, I'm so sorry. Ringfinger made me do it. He kidnapped my sister, my daughter, my sister, my daughter, my si Thank you. I wouldn't release her unless I helped trap you. That's all right. I won't hold it against you. Oh, James, I wish you would. And I thought your hands were amazing. What can I do to help? Get me the ring. Well, Mr. Bondage, you may wonder what that is hovering over your body. It is not a sun lamp. <laughs> it is an industrial laser. <laughs> This laser is capable of cutting through any material known to man. I'm sure you'd love to see it in action. Bye-bye, <laughs> bondage. He's getting loose. He's free the injection. <laughs> well, Mr. Bondage, it looks like you're going to live up to your name, or should I say, die up to it? <laughs> in case you should wake up, I think this will keep you in your place. <laughs> faster, men, faster! <laughs> Ha 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 ha!